In the FlexiCapture basic course, we learned quite a bit about Flexi Layout Studio. In preparation for doing some of the advanced tasks in Flexi Layout Studio, let's do a bit of a refresher. Let's warm up a bit. So you see that I have an image here, and it's a one-page image. So I'll be able to disable my footer. And let's talk about a nice way to capture data uh, using the header element. And I'm going, going to start out with the static text element. I'll call this keyword form ID 1. And I'll make this required. And I will specify the um, Debron manufacturer as a required string. And then I'll clone that. And I'll also look for a different string. Um, let's try both. When I clone that, um, uh, this uh, name got numbered automatically, keyword form ID 2. And I just held the control key down and dragged keyword form ID 1 down. And that formed keyword form ID 2. And so I'll grab the delivery address and I'll also grab billing address. And in order to properly capture this, I need to account for the fact that there's a very large space between these two. So I'm going to click Take Spaces into Account and notice that the maximum space length by default is 50, 50 dots. So I can measure by simply holding my left mouse button down and drawing a line above um, my text strings. And I see the word, on the lower right hand corner, I see the word dot, and I see the word select tool, and I see 1022 by three. So those are the dimensions of that rectangle that I drew. So I know that if I put in a max space length of 1000, I should be good. And I can test that. I'll right click and match we see our header was found, and we see that key keyword form ID was one was found, and keyword form ID two was also found. Let's create another simple static text element. I will select keyword form ID two, hold my control button and drag that down, and let's grab this credit note number label. So I will Return the space length to 50. Paste in that value. And apply. And it's good to do frequent testing to make sure there's no surprises. But we can see we're finding all three items. One, two, three. The next, let's make one more. Let's drag keyword form ID 3 down and go for keyword form ID 4. And this time, let's go for date customer sales and payment. So what are these strings? We're looking for date, customer, sales, and payment. And we can take spaces into account and permit multiple lines. Let's match this document. So we found our first element, our second element, our third element, and our fourth element. What if some of these images can come in in poor shape? Let's take a look. We'll add another image. It's pre-recognized. And we can see there's some damage right here in this uh, text area. So if I try to match this document, it won't match. Unable to match the Flexi layout. And we can see that it was not able to find the string date customer sales payment. How can we uh, manage this kind of situation? We can start by making all of these elements optional. And once that's complete, we, 
we can ask ourselves, if all the elements in a header are optional, what kind of forms will this match? Uh, really any forms. So that's not what we want. But if we go into the header and we say minimum number of found sub elements is set to four and match, it's as if all four of these are required. So I can match this document. It says unable to match the flexi layout and it wasn't able to find the last one. But if we match this document, of course it worked because it was able to find all four. So we can go back here to the header group and say the min minimum number of found sub elements is three. In this case, we can match our damaged document and it matches. So it found the first three wasn't able to match the last text static text element, but it's okay. So it could be any of these four static el text elements that's not found, that's damaged, and will still match the document. So this gives you some serious flexibility in matching documents of varying quality. There's one other trick that I could show you. Um, if I make keyword form ID one required, that changes the logic a little bit. It's still true that we need to match three of the four, but of the three that we match, one of them has to be Debron Manufacture. So we can just do a test on that, and we're still matching.